Hello, children of God. Good morning. This is Mike Aloya coming to you with the Word of God. Word of God, baby. Cheers to life. Cheers to love. Cheers to our Father God, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Cheers to the angels that protect us. And cheers to you, children of God. Beautiful Sunday morning, man. 2023. Getting ready to jump into February. I tell you, it's been a heck of a heck of a week for me spiritual battle those freaking demonic entities coming at me left and right but you know what I've got sound mind I see them I feel it I understand the battle that we're in and I've got my armor on every day we are going through a shift in humanity where all the corruption is being cleansed and cleaned out for humanity cannot tolerate it anymore. God's not going to tolerate it anymore. His children were never meant to suffer. Our light bodies are merging with our physical forms, and we are ascending into higher dimensions, higher consciousness, higher realities, higher existence within the realms of infinity, for we are connected to Source, God. We are the Christ. We are the Second Coming. We are... Christ is within us all. It speaks about having sound mind and teaching sound doctrine. In the book of Titus, chapter 2, it begins, it says, But speak thou the things which become sound doctrine, that the aged men be sober, grave, temperate, sound in faith, in charity, and in patience. The aged women likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness, not false accusers, not given too much wine, teachers of good things, that they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, and to love their children, to be discreet, chaste, keepers of their home, good, obedient to their own husbands, that the word of God be not blasphemed, and young men likewise exhort to be sober-minded in all things, shewing thyself a pattern of good works in doctrine and shewing uncorruptness, gravity, and sincerity. Sound speech, it cannot be contrary, that is of the contrary part, may be ashamed, having no evil thing to say to you. Exhort servants to be obedient until their own masters, and to please them well in all things, not answering again, not purloining, but shewing all good fidelity, that they may adorn the doctrine of God our Savior in all things. Love each other. In Jesus' name, God bless you, man. Sound mind. We are the Christ. Rock and roll.